on April 23, 2024, Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre presented his third budget policy address in Parliament. His 2024-2025 budget is rich with policies that will shore up the country's fiscal position, encourage investment and economic development, and positively impact the lives of everyday St. Lucian citizens. Mr. Speaker, in this year of infrastructure, I am satisfied that we have undertaken sufficient policy initiatives and interventions to realize the objectives of greater efficiency, effectiveness, and responsiveness in our physical, social, and digital infrastructure. Alongside the, reali the realization of these infrastructural objectives, we can look forward to growth in major sectors of the economy, new job opportunities with youth employment on the rise, increased social protection for the vulnerable, and growing confidence in the good governance of our country among potential investors and the international community. By the end of this fiscal year, St. Lucia is expected to be a much better place. The Prime Minister's third budget, dubbed the Year of Infrastructure, signifies the progress made by the peer administration to reverse economic declines and position St. Lucia on a stable course towards sustainable socio-economic development. Mr. Speaker, over the past three years, the St. Lucian economy has been growing. The growth has been experienced across many sectors, with business confidence up and unemployment down. The investments and employment opportunities that will be provided across all major sectors of the economy will bring real hope to the people. We will continue to build upon our previous successes, which have resulted in impressive economic rate growths of 11.5%, 20%, and 2.2% in GDP after a contraction of over 24.5% in 2020. The Year of Infrastructure heralds a revolutionary transformation phase for St. Lucia. Physical infrastructure, like roads, bridges, and public buildings, are earmarked for multi-million dollar facelifts. The government has entered negotiations with a private sector developer to fund, in the first instance, $200 million towards our road development program. Mr. Speaker, in December 2023, this government introduced an infrastructure option to complement the other funding options. The new infrastructure option requires developers to raise the financing, uh, the financing needed to undertake approved projects in a number of selected areas and recover the expenses through the CIP program. This means, Mr. Speaker, that improvement in the road network, community development projects, and housing can be implemented to improve the lives of our people without increasing the debt burden of the country. The government will invest significantly in the digital space to improve efficiency in the public service and better serve the public. From preschools to pensioners, the 2024 budget will deliver direct support to the St. Lucian public. A one-off payment of $2,500 will be made to each of the 93 privately registered early childhood centers to assist with the purchase of educational supplies. Mr. Speaker, are you aware that there are government pensioners and other pensioners in this country who own $300 a month pension? <clears throat> Effective August 1st, 2024, the minimum pension payable to government pensioners will be increased to $725. Prime Minister Pierre has designed a comprehensive budget that will enrich the standard of living of ordinary St. Lucians, provide increased support for vulnerable groups, 
and accelerate national development.